All right, everybody. All right, all right. Welcome to Loop Hero. We're gonna get in and play some Loop Hero. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be the best spot for uh, maybe different some high res fonts. Oh, dyslexia friendly fonts. <laughs> Uh, English, that's all good. We're gonna play some Loop Hero, check it out. Um, been watching the Northern Lion play a little bit of this, but let's... Let's turn down that music and then we have everything else like that. Alright. Get into it. Whoa. The stars in the sky are going out one by one. But no one notices it, no one's stopping it. Uh-oh. I'm racing to the last place where there's still hope. I need to make it before... Before it's too late. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. That's that's not good. And even if there's absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible in a place without space. Without time. Without memories. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. All right, we got a little tutorial going on here. Fantastic, fantastic. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, switch between planning and adventure with space or right click. All right, so we're adventuring. Hope I'll be able to find shelter before nightfall. If such thing as night still even exists without sky, of course. Look at him go. Pay attention to the day progress bar at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Space, right click, mode switch. Alright, so planning or adventure. Great. <gasps> a living ball of slime. Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey, remember this creature. Maybe uh, I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will be back to normal. Uh, another action is done automatically. The player can't affect them directly. Press anywhere to continue. Well, all right. So it's a uh, auto game, and I can just put it on times two, which is fine. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the remains. Okay, cool, great. So attach the weapon. I think I remember there was a grove nearby. Are these even my memories, or do they belong to that slime? So I can place a grove, I can put it right there, so the grove does something, what does it do? Uh, a gentle rustle of leaves, a crack of a dry branch, and the feeling of being watched. Spawns rat wolf every two days, the wolf can be, can move to an adjacent tile. Okay, cool, so, spawns enemies for me to kill on this loop. Ooh, I got an upgrade. Forest rat, I was right. Some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remember, <laughs> remembered as a bad damn. <laughs> it's good that nobody is listening. Well, eh. Uh, you can get new items and cards during battle. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I can put uh, the forest somewhere. I'll put it right there. I'll put a rock over here. Why not? Um, and then the pole arm does more damage and gives me some defense. Great, so there's a mountain over there and there's a forest over there. The world is just like new. The branches and stones in my backpack are a, sh are a sure sign of that. So my reactions will yield resources that you will need later on, but not right now. But that shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. Continue your journey by uh, changing the mode. Fantastic. So if I do that, then I can see them. Great. Uh, it's... I think it's time to get some rest. Alright, so I can return to camp, or I can... So I can keep all resources. Okay, so that was like the tutorial. Let's go ahead and retreat back to camp. It's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both of these problems. So I can build a campfire, so there's a tech tree. Okay. Congratulations, you've beaten the annoying tutorial. Now you can start with your first expedition, or not. Do as you wish. Fantastic. All right, so let's go to Expedition. Let's start it. You know what? Let's just go through with it. Everything is wrong, but I remember. <laughs> it looks completely different. It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Like, I have a choice if I need to give up and cry to save the world. 
I am the worst savior of all. Let's do it. Alright, so I lose all of my um, items and stuff, so I gotta get some more items. Fantastic. Let's equip you and equip you, and then we'll put a mountain tile over there. Just killing slimes going through the day. Ooh, alright. Okay, alright. Battlefield. What is the battlefield? It spawns a chest at the start of the loop. Enemies on ocean tiles can become ghosts. Let's do that right there. Hello. It's gonna be a fun, fun little fight. Ho ho, we knocked him out. Spider in a meadow. Alright, we'll put the meadow over here. Spider cocoon we'll put uh, there. Spawn spiders on an adjacent tile once a day, so we'll do that right at the beginning. Meadow. Cool. I'm slaughtering these guys. Alright, plus two. Oh, okay. Plus five. Oh, so mountain is plus five. HP for each adjacent rock or mountain. Okay. Oh, nice. So I get more HP like that. Let's do that. I'll put you up there. Fantastic. More? And a road lantern. Decreases the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles. Oh, on adjacent tiles, the effect of lanterns can stack. Okay. Okay, so let's let's go over here. Oh, I haven't equipped anything. All right, hang on. Uh, defense four. Uh, defense four. Okay, so let's do that, and then magic damage versus damage to all. So this goes damage to all and magic damage. So these are not good. Ooh, counter and evasion is actually pretty good. I think. Um, we'll check it out. We'll think about it. Oh. Make a little, uh... There we go. That heals you. Fantastic. Spiders. Ooh. Cemetery and Oblivion. Okay, Oblivion erases any established tiles, erases monsters from the road, um, a place for the dead and for some of the living accused. It spawns a skeleton every three days. Okay, so let's do this. Wait a second. Enemies on these tiles can become ghosts. Okay, so they can become ghosts. Let's go ahead and put you right here. Let's just make a little gauntlet here. Bonk, bonk. Defense four on everything. Can I just like get rid of things in my inventory? That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. Ooh, 85. 93 is better here. Okay, so chest. Oh, I gotta stop going over it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, that's better armor. That's great. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I think evasion and counter is probably better. I gotta stop hovering over it because it stops it. <laughs> uh, we'll get some more mountains. Some more meadows. Working our way through this, not bad. A cemetery. Let's do that. Let's make a big cemetery pass here. Let's make all the hard enemies right in front of uh, right in front of my base. 
Ooh, okay, that's actually better. Yeah, I'll take that. So none of those are better at all. Actually, regen per second probably isn't bad. Counter. Beacon, what does that do? 40% movement speed within its area. Um, attack speed for all units. 20% attack speed for all units. Oh, okay. A worthless landmark in a world with no direction. For all units. Does that include enemies? You know what? Let's do this. That, that's the best spot. You know, I'm gonna do it. Why not? We can always obliviate, oblivion, those people. So, yeah, oblivion. All right, so we got a mountain. Fantastic. What does that do? Okay, that. That's a little scary, actually. I think. Ooh, level four armor. Excuse me. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> All day. Okay, so we have a goblin camp. Spawns goblins in adjacent tile once per day. Appears for every 10 mountain rock tiles. Okay, so I can actually just get rid of that guy if I want to. Let's see how, I don't know, let's see. We have another meadow. We can do another battlefield. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so let's just spawn two. We'll do another cemetery, I think, right here. I probably want to... That was probably a bad idea to do that. <laughs> what do we got? A beacon? Another beacon and rock. Um, uh... You know what? I don't, I don't like that. Um, but I... So that's not within his range. Okay. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? You want to save the world. You want to ask for help. The answer is no. How did you... But why no? We see f far away. We see deep inside. For a long time, there has been just emptiness instead of the sky. But it doesn't stop us from seeing... You're saving the world is one-sided and naive. Each person sees their own way of saving the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Fine, I don't fully understand it, but tell me your version. What does to what does to save the world mean to you? My progeny and my kin for them to be strong and to live. It's a part of the cycle of life and death. It is life itself. It is the world. I will kill you and feed your remains to my starving younglings, and life will go on. And to how many lives does your blade give birth to by killing again and again? Only one. I don't want you or your children to die from starvation. Please try to see reason. If my mission succeeds, harpies can have the skies and all the hunting grounds they need. I can't feed my children with your beautiful words. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> I do have beautiful words. It's true. Alright, um, that brings down that ring is 8% attack speed. Defense going up, that's nice. Alright. Counter 7% or just attack speed, strip attack speed. You know what? I'll take the attack speed. I feel awful by fixing one evil and becoming a source of another. There's no home for harpies except the highest mountains, but there's no food there. I can't imagine how they managed to survive if their big mountains were cut off from reality. There we go. We got another meadow. Another rock. Let's oblivion this guy.
Ooh. This is the hard section right here. A treasury. Hello. Gives a random resource after placing anything on it on the tile but can't be built next to built adjacent to anything. Okay, so I put it out here and then I build stuff around it. Ooh, this shield is better. Oh, and this ring? Hello. Level 5 ring, yeah, I'll take that. We'll put that one right there. And then we want to put rocks and we want to put other stuff around it, right? Pretty sure. Let's just do that. Stop! <laughs> Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. <laughs> we remember ourselves. Now give us all you got. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. You have no idea what's going on, right? You don't... Why don't you help me restore order to this world first and then you can do anything you want? Goblins must rob. <laughs> no uh, other order in the world. Fair enough. Guess I don't have any valid objection here. Oh wait, I do have one. How about... Oh, they're doing some damage. Oh, I'm still fine, I think. What is that one? A dark slime. Okay, alright. Vampire mansion. It's strange how these creatures appear here on their own. Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad and the world is trying to restore itself. Or that even the apocalypse isn't even... Or isn't enough to get rid of some pests. Our vampires mansion will do... Uh, we'll do that here, I guess. Back off, human. A vampire. Where are your lands? If a farmer needs help, I would be glad to offer it. No more lands, no more flock. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger! <laughs> Save yourself while you can. I don't know how long it'll be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but uh, you can help me and I will set this crumbled world right. <laughs> right, I'm doing this not just for myself, but for everyone in the name of good. So be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. <laughs> nah, dog, I'm good. Ooh, hello, okay. Oh. He's doing some damage. This ring. Uh, I think that's the defense is probably better, yeah. Can I move stuff around? I can. Okay. So I want that out of there. That's not good. Oh, vampirism. You know what? Maybe I'll take that. I don't know. Let's just go by uh, level here. There we go. Vampires often owned our lands. They kept the peace and helped our settlements to prosper, but this won't do at all. Now they just are pale shadows of their former selves, only f but both physically and mentally. Apparently, the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even these creatures can, that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Sad. Another meadow right there. Or, oh, I need to start putting stuff over here. Okay, let me see. That's a better weapon. And that's a worse shield. That's a little bit better, even. What is that? Magic damage, magic damage, and so two defense. Ah, I'm not good with that. That's better. Damage, pure damage is better. Oh, Blooming Meadow. 
Just repeat the start of each day. Okay, that's nice. And then do I want region per- no. So that heals me up a bit. Come on, baby. Oh, six? Okay, more HP. Damage to all, vampirism. That's actually good. I'm gonna take that. Oh, that heals me a bit. That's nice. Wait, what is Roadland? Decreases the mass. Oh, yeah, that's actually nice. I'm gonna do that here. And we'll do a meadow over here. Very nice. Ooh. 15. I, I want that attack speed, I think. I think attack speed is better in this scenario. Ooh. That was gross. He spawns a rat wolf every two days. Okay, so. Just make stuff hard here. Probably want to oblivion something, and I don't know what. Probably one of these guys. Uh, you know, they're not too bad. Let's do that. Okay, nothing past the vampire place, which is nice. All right, come on, give me something good. Okay, damage to all nine versus to attack speed. That's actually probably pretty good. This reduces HP, but gives me attack speed and regen. I think I probably want this still. Probably still want that. Oh, hello. Damage to all defense. The defense is nice. So they separated out into two. So this gives me more defense, um, but it gives me vampirism instead of damage to all. I'm gonna go with damage to all. Although vampirism is probably pretty nice. Losing much health? Everything is working out pretty well, I think. Ooh, level 7? Oh my goodness. Uh, yes, please. All day. And 600 in vampirism. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that. That's, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be real nice. So now he's getting six every time he hits. So this is this is good. Oh my gosh. Yuck. Oh, I got another treasury. Nice. I think I'm about to unlock the other treasury. So your treasury and then. There, he gives me a ton of stuff. Ooh, that's nice. Um, and damage to all defense down. No, it's not as good. But this, that's also worse, huh? Level seven, everything except for the thing that's just five. Okay, that's not bad. That ain't bad at all. Uh, we'll do like that. Cemetery, I guess, right here. 
You want another vampire man? There's not much stuff down here, so I'm just gonna put another vampire man right there. I think I'll fight one vampire right here, yeah. Because the harpy. Ooh, okay, okay. Getting some good items. This is not a bad run at all. Oh, okay. Alright. Attack speed, vampirism, regen per second. And so I only lose some damage per all, but I get attack speed, so I'm gonna say that's probably better. Five. Getting five health back per hit. Not bad. Oh, ghost. Okay. Come on. Look at him. There we go. Mm, nope. Horse. Alright, so we're planning here. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. More beacons. I'll put another beacon right here. A rock and another grove and then another cemetery. And then why not just put vampire mansion here? Make a bunch of vampires right there. Um Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad. That's a lot of damage. That's a really good sword. Broken, and it's broken. It's a broken long sword. Hold, turn on. So if I retreat, you keep the 60. Oh. No, I'll stay. Gosh, it's going too quick. <laughs> All right, hang on. So we got another room for another treasury right there, right? So then we want to put that, and it becomes a blooming meadow for both of them. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Road lantern. We probably want another one over here. We're full health already. Wow, we're, we're doing really good. <laughs> Alright, so now here I can do this, and then I can retreat and get all of my stuff, right? Keep all your resources. Okay, so I'm going to stay. I'm going to keep going. We'll press tab, and that'll uh, speed us up a bit. Ooh, 22. No, we want the counter in vampirism. That's too good. And then this is our, our deadly section here. But I do have an oblivion, so, you know, there's that. Oh my god, I might need to use it. Another cemetery. We'll put that right there. Um. Do we want to oblivion these guys? I mean, that was a fair amount of health I lost. That was like 300, so I'm gonna... The skeletons are kind of scary. I don't think the spiders are that bad. Oh... Although, I probably should have saved for the goblins. I think they do a bit more damage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Down to 500. Okay, so 8. That's... Better, that's a lot of defense. Then 8 arm, okay. So that's increased overall HP, and then uh, damage to all is 4, and then counter. So we lose some vampirism, but we get counter and more max HP. I, let's hold off on that one for a while. Because I'm not sure if it's better. <laughs> Let 
Ooh, this is looking a little scary for me. A little scary here. Okay, I gotta make it through. Okay, no, not there's no... There's just these rat guys. I think they're alright, but let's do this. We got another beacon and another mountain. So we'll just do a mountain, mountain and another meadow. We'll plant a beacon right here. Glow beacon increases all creatures' attack speed. Oh, so it does increase the creature attack speed. I should not cast those. I mean, it increases my movement speed, but it um, it doesn't work well for, um, <laughs> for when I'm battling. Oh, that was really dumb. So this is a really inoptimal setup over here. Ooh. Down a little bit. Counter and then regen. But we lose evasion. We gain counter. I don't think that's worth, but we're going to keep this up here. Nine. Level nine. Level seven. Oh my goodness gracious. That actually is a big injury. I think we want the overall damage. I think we want that over, what do we have here? Evasion 10%. I think we want damage and damage to all. That's a, that's a good trade off. place right there. Planning. Plant that right there and then we got another road lantern right here. And then more meadows. There's lots and lots of meadows up here. Okay, how do we want to... This is getting a little scary. Um, it's a shield. Lose defense but we gain vampirism. It's only two, no, it's it's a lot of defense actually, that's, okay, and then this gives us counter and defense over damage to all, I think damage to all is actually probably better in this scenario. The vampirism is too nice to turn down. Um, attack speed region vampirism, I think vamp, yeah, ugh. this is hard, it's starting to get hard to make the decisions. The 435. Oh, so we're gaining. Oh, 20 is not good. Oh, Oblivion. Oh, that's good. Oblivion is a really powerful card. <laughs> like a big old mountain right there. And then uh, we got Spider Cocoon. Let's hold off. Oh, yeah, we want to... Let's Oblivion that. Um, we don't want... Th those guys are pretty strong, I think. And right next to the vampires, it's even more scary. Ooh. Boss, I don't know if it's gonna be in this like battlefield. Oh yeah, another battlefield scene. So tons of defense. It's not as good as the one I have. Resources, I think. Actually, I don't know if that's a lot. Road Lantern. Uh, let's do this here. Oh boy, that was probably a mistake. Um, <laughs> incursion. Um, it's probably a mistake. <laughs>
Let's see. Defense, regen, counter. Okay. Um, damage to all. Yeah, it's still better. Both of them. Still better than both of them. Is, do I want to extract before fighting the boss? I don't have much time to decide, but. You know what? Let's just fight the boss. What's the worst that can happen, right? the worst that can possibly happen here. I lose. Eh. Wouldn't be the first time. Ooh. How? How is this even possible? That's right. You didn't devour me like the rest of the world. Haven't I? Do you really think so? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you. I consumed all of your reality. Every one of its elements now rests in a separate pocket dimension. Spaces, living beings, information, even memories. They shall remain there until entropy does its work, turning everything into a uniform static mass. Along with you, of course. You're insane. So, what do we have here? I see you found a way to interact with other places of your reality, reality to organize, combine, and merge them, but how? I don't see any exceptional talent or knowledge in you. You hardly even understand what is happening, right? Yep, that's, that's true. That's true. I'll tell you what's happening. I'll pile bones... A pile of bones is butchering my world and thinks that it can get away with it. You're already doomed and you know it. Perhaps you're just the first in a series of system, systematic errors. A problem must learn to... I, a problem I must learn to solve? Jeez, I, my dyslexia. <laughs> Let's not waste any time then. I don't think you're capable of feeling regret, but I'm about to change that. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Retreat! Uh, you die about this. Death does not favor the fallen, but you made it. Uh, keep 30% of your f resources found. Okay. I guess I have to retreat. Oh wow. Bunch of people here. I can't believe it. Hey, everybody, the boy managed to return. Survivors? Does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where did you come from? Is there still a place without darkness? We don't know where we came from, or uh, we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of the group, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure. We've reached the conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and leftover daily rations. With each day, new signs of presence of people that, as far as everyone here knows, have never been with us. <laughs> have never even been with us. It's like we forgot them. You forgot, exactly. It's like people disappear every day and we instantly forget that they even existed. Almost as if we forgot the place we came from and our families and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yoda and that's the part I still remember. Nobody else's memory is much better shape. <sighs> that's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten, but wait, you said you that I'd managed to return, that means you remembered I was here. Yes, that's why it was important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here, a real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Of course, I'd be grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before, but there's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted. But we'd be glad if you could help us. We And we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you managed to return, but for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing of you. For now, just want to have a place to return to. A place where I can hear other people's voices. Oh, that's cool. We weren't joking about helping you here. 
here are a few things that survived the cataclysm and don't vanish away. Can't be forgotten. Take them. Uh, you may need them. Alright, some more stuff here so we can build things. Okay, alright. 10% of campfire's healing power unlocks blood grove card. I think that's the only one I can get. I can't make these yet. And we'll place that right there. Why not? Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The food made by a good cook is tastier. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what? You were waiting for something more elaborate? Sometimes the truth is very simple. Look, I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives, a bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Nothing special. Everything is very simple. But give me a few minutes and everyone in the camp will be running to my table following the tasty smell of a good stew. Well, all right. Uh, can we do anything else? Oh, we can do these. Okay. Oh, no, we can't. We need more of everything. All right, all right. Not bad. So we exit out and we go back on expedition, I think, right? No, a deck of cards. Okay. So let's just grab everything, right? It's not a bad thing to have everything. And we'll start. 13. I don't understand. 2. That too many? Oh, so you can have up to 12. Okay, so let's just do, uh... Don't want the vampire mage. What do they do? Add vampires to battle. Hungry eyes. Mm. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's not a bad thing. But I want this, so let's do... Yeah, let's get rid of the vampires for now. Or beacon. Yeah, I don't want beacon. <laughs> All right. Let's kill some stuff. Boom. <laughs> Killing some slimes, throwing some armor on, putting out a... Putting out some mountains or rocks or whatever. Putting on a shield. That's a better weapon. Oh, felt good. Uh, okay, a cemetery. Nice, let's put it here and here. Ninety-five card eighty-eight better. Alright, we'll put out another another rock to give us some more HP. Treasury. All right, so this is where we can okay, we put one there, and then we put one there, right? And then we can uh, leverage from from two of them. So now we put a meadow right there. There we go. I'm learning. I'm learning. So we do want to do a vampire's mansion. Maybe down here, a grove up here, and a battlefield. A battlefield there. And we will get the chest right before we come into town and then our camp. Then we're good. Ninety-nine. It's better. Take it. So wait, this is four to six, that's so the same, and then shield is four, so it's the same. Cemetery. Vampire Mansion. Okay. 
Not too bad, not too shabby to start. Alright, ooh, okay, so this one doubles the effect of days, doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. Okay, so this is where we do, oh, oh okay, I got it, I got it. We do this, right? Okay, we'll put that there, and then we want to get more battlefields. That's what's up. That's what's up. Because then we get multiple chests. We're all about them chests. Meadow. Rock. A better shield, all right. Okay, I'm losing a little bit. Oh, this is actually a nice spear, isn't it? Yeah, oh wow. Yeah, that's a really good spear. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I just got a dirk that is You know, I'm going to I'm going to hang on to that, but I don't think it's better at this point. Another battlefield right there. Spider cocoon around here. Let's make a little gauntlet area. Ooh, that's a lot better. <laughs> no, okay. We're just gonna we're, gonna we're just gonna sit for a while. We're gonna just chill. Okay, so then we can do this, and then we get double the daily bonus, right? Oh, it's at the start of each loop. I thought it was a daily bonus. Oh, mistake. <laughs> All right, let's let's cash in here. Whoops. Hmm. That was a mistake. Blood grow. What is it? can be placed in your forest adjacent to a road. It's used to devour enemies uh, that have less than 15% HP left. Oh, okay. All right. So we want to put that right there. We do a mountain right there. That's going to be better. That's a little worse. This shield is. Hmm. Counter and vampirism. I think that's actually worth it, to be honest. Vampirism is nice, it just heals you. We can take on some spiders. Spiders ain't no thing. Attack speed, less counter. We get mage damage and regen per second. And then this uh, increases HP, gives us magic damage instead of damage to all, and then it's equal to the counter. I don't think that's worth. Uh, lose, we lose one percent on counter. We lose vampirism. We get damage to all and magic damage. 
We don't have that much vampirism right now, so let's just go for it. Defense versus attack speed. Defense is pretty good. I think. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. Yeah. I do not like those. <laughs> Defense and attack speed? Yeah, I'll take that. That's probably good right there. Let's see, and then we probably want to do mountain up here. <laughs> oh, you know what? You guys can't see. Where do I, where do I put it? I want to put it right there I think that's probably best because then you can actually see what cards I have you isn't like just like not seeing what cards I can see the whole time that's fun uh, we'll put blood grove right there and then throw some meadows why not oh that's a bad bad placement bad placement damage region per second we lose counter and then this one is a big increase okay we'll do that for sure this is debatable we do get the two magic damage it's only you know I'd rather have the counter Ooh. do you want more attack speed and counter Or a 10 evasion. I think attack speed. That's actually really nice. That's pretty nice. Although I don't know how good evasion is. Evasion is probably solid. I'm just not, not leveraging it. Who knows though. and six this is nice evasion 15% you know there's so much extra HP there that's pretty good and then uh, magic damage and counter versus defense and attack speed it's probably not better but I don't know I just I kind of want to just do it counters nice though that there, this we're gonna put there. Um, I guess we'll just put these over here for no reason, and then we'll put a grove. Grove right there. Equals two magic damage and evasion. So we got we have a fair amount of we have fifteen percent evasion. You know what? I want more evasion. I think uh, let's try out 
Let's get a lot of evasion. I think it's gonna be nice. Let's save the oblivion for uh, when we're really in trouble. Uh, let's put a mountain right there, then we'll put a meadow right there. Put a road lantern right there, and a grove right there, and a spider thing right where? Where do I want to put the spider thing? Spider thing right there. Well, that was probably a mistake because it's right next to the vampire section. That may have been a mistake. Two or three vampires here. Only one, okay. Damage to all though. No, evasion. Want that evasion. Maybe I just want to come back with all the resources that I have. Yeah, I don't think this run's gonna be the run, so maybe I just come back. Ooh, unless. <laughs> unless. <laughs> Do that. See what's in the chest. Oh, th th this chest hurts me? What the crap? feeling this probably isn't going to be the run, but maybe I can cash in here. I just need two more rocks and we're golden. Or two more anything really, actually. Make it another run. That's the question. I can probably make it around again. You know, what? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna retreat. I'm gonna play it safe. Oh, another success. You've returned, and we still remember you. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's good to be back, but I'd hardly call it a success. My old memories of the world are gone. The path is empty again, and there's only darkness everywhere I look. Interesting. So technically, you remember that there are things you have forgotten. We should find a way to use that. Let's talk about something more positive. We managed to tidy up the place. Uh, it's time for the next step. What do you have in mind? Expand the camp. We have all sorts of craftsmen, from cooks to alchemists, but they all need a place to work. But we can use the materials from around here. You can turn away for a second from a branch or stone you've just found and it's gone. I'm afraid only you can solve this problem. The materials that survived your trip always look suitable for building. But these are just stones and splinters. How can you build something with them? Curious. Eh, I noticed that... Noticed that with the fire you've made, the things you obtain somehow infect everything similar stability. Only in small amounts, but it's still something. Even a small branch is enough to make wooden wall exist without constant supervision. Huh. Alright, so let's build. Then we want to do... Uh, oh, we don't have enough for a smithy or that. But we have enough for an herbalist hut, so I guess we're doing that. It's a miracle that we could find some fertile soil and that we were able to save some seeds from precious healing herbs. But the real, but the real miracle is that all these healing poultices? I don't think I've ever heard that term. Poultices. Hang, hang on. Poultices. <laughs> uh, and balms still exist. We've already lost many people because of the cataclysm. It would... 
be nice not to lose more to disease and these potions can help you take a bottle or two with you in your trip and these chances of getting back on and your chances of getting back unharmed will be much higher nice okay what else can i build anything else no i need whatever those are I need one of those. So Smithy's probably the next one I'm gonna do. It lets you start an expedition with basic warrior gear, and unlocks the ability to craft tools for camp if the supply depot is built. Okay. And these are all level one things. Okay, this is a pretty big tree. Cool. Well, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video, like, share, subscribe, do all the fun stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.